Good boy. Come on. All right, I'm going to have to leave this stuff on the ground. Okay, so like for offering a treat, what I do is say I'm worried about beaks. Mm -hmm. I usually hold a bigger treat and I hold it so it's at the tip of my finger. Yeah. So it has to reach more. Like and you can only get the treat and it's faster and go for smaller pieces. Oh, this guy's going to be great. Okay, so we've already got a bird who's paying attention. So now, what I, all I'm doing now is I'm basically teaching him the target. So teaching him to orient his beak towards my closed fist. So now he doesn't even probably need to see the treat. Just move in. He just follows the, the um, closed fist. And you're almost offering him more of your available flesh, aren't you? Yeah, because I, I, I think we've already made our, our agreement here. So if he moves, oh, you wiping your beak? If he moves in my direction to get it, then I'll reinforce him. And when you target, you try to pick a fixed distance initially. So if you come that far, you get it. Good job. Why is that so? Why do you because if, if he starts to follow it and I pull it away, mm -hmm. he learns that um, it goes away when you try to go to it. So why keep going towards it? So, right. you, so you want to keep a contract saying, okay, you came this far, you earned it, you get it. You're doing good. One buddy. of the things that they were doing was when they wanted him to walk up things, they would just do a couple of things. Yeah. And, and then so they hold him there. So if now, so now I'm asking for bigger distance. Let's see if we'll do it. Oh, is that too much? Okay. So I'll ask for less criteria because see how he hesitated. And notice how small these are now. These mm -hmm. are little itty bitty pieces now. So if he, if you say about now, then tries to bite you. Um, I've not seen him bite in here. Okay. No. Well, and I think we're seeing. You know, I think his body language would start to be more. I mean, we've kind of made the deal. He's got enough repetition. Yeah. We now. haven't been seeing him biting his feet up. So, so let's let's experiment. So now he knows. Hopefully, he knows to follow his fist. So now I've got a way to give him information. So let's say I want to let him on my arm. So what I'm going to do is just hold my arm really still and see if I can use that to get him to come up. And then I'm also going to use it to teach him to leave my arm. It's part of the deal for yep. food. Exactly. It's, it's what you do. And I love that he's put one foot on it so quickly. That's great. Put a security is it paid back there. Because it's that swing, it swings there too, which uh, he's used to getting on for food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at the But see, the idea is that he can always leave if he wants to. And that helps him build confidence. I'm also resting my arm on this mm -hmm. thing as opposed to moving him right away to teach him that it's going to be steady and it's not just going to lift him up and take him somewhere. So now I want to ask for more criteria because we've gotten two or one foot on there several times now. I want to see if I can at least get him to lean a little bit more. You can touch on really. Yeah. So I'm going to stick around and see if I can get one more. Come on, buddy. You're trying. I'm going to give him for the lean. Good God, he weighs a ton. <laughs> You're a heavy bird, just in general, not for him as an individual. But He's nearly three three. You're a big bird. He's just he's there. Now. Okay. So what I would do is I would keep in mind that this right hand is always going to be able to direct him, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep my elbow in tight. One, he's heavy. It helps make it easier to carry him. Yeah. But then when I want him to step off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that target to direct him to go back. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I just open my hand and let him have a feed for that. Because that's a big problem, right? It's harder for him to leave people if he wants to mate with them than it is to, to stay on them. Yeah. So we want to heavily reinforce leaving people so that he does that well. Two feet. There we go. So we're past a point where we have to go through the baby steps. Let me take it in. So I'm going to use the target again. See how he already knows how to follow it? It's pretty, they learn it so fast. So, you want to try? Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Who's feeling comfortable? I'm he's he's ready.